Hey everyone, it's Tina Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is on a perm rod set on natural hair fail and also how to fix a failed perm rod set. So I did want to show you guys um, what I was using and how I did my perm rods. So I'm using Talia Wahid. I always say the name wrong. So y'all seen the picture, y'all seen the product. That's what I'm using. Um, I haven't used it in a while and I don't know why because it is so good. But um, I basically just put some edge control on. I put that leave-in conditioner on and I'm just brushing that to get a nice smooth foundation. And I'm just going to start my flat twist. I just wanted to do a little twist in the front. When I first went natural, I always used to do little twists and braids at the front and then just have my hair all curly in the back. And I'm just putting a bobby pin on that flat twist just to keep it in place so it won't untwist or unravel. But the way that I twisted it, I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but I just want to be on the safe side. So I'm using the leave-in conditioner again on my hair and then using their curl definer and it smells so good y'all oh it smells so good and I'm just taking medium sized sections and I'm just twisting my hair about halfway down and then I just go ahead and get my perm rod I'm using the peach colored ones and I'm making sure that the ends are smooth and secure on it and then I just roll it on up and remember always 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 when you're doing perm rods make sure the little thing that you bring over to snap it in place make sure that that's always on top making sure that your hair is flat and it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna unravel or anything but i'm just putting some more product on my ends combing that out getting my perm rod making sure my ends are super duper extra smooth on there and just rolling it up and i'm going to continue to do that throughout my whole head all right so this is my last twist i think i have about mm, maybe like 20 perm rods in my head give or take somewhere in there but I go ahead and just put my bonnet on and go to sleep and I let these dry for 11 hours y'all 11 okay <laughs> my boyfriend in the background talk about not 11 but um so I'm just making sure that my fingers have some oil on it but look you see that one came out okay but this one looked limp like what the french noodle is that so i'm just really upset because they all feel dry and i'm just like well maybe you know it's just these three but honey as you can see they're like a little bit damp on the inside and i keep forgetting what type of hair i got like if i'm doing something on wet hair my my hair needs to dry for like a long time, like a really long time, or I need to sit under the dryer or something because it's just a mess. Like, don't nobody be wanting to go through all this work and your hair is still wet. But I decided I'm gonna work with it because, you know, it is what it is and we just gonna get it done. 
So usually I would separate the hair with wrapping it around my finger, but because my hair is a little damp, I don't wanna disturb the curls any more that they are. So I'm just untwisting it and that's really it. Just untwisting it and maybe separate one more time, but that's like it. So I had a few things that I needed to do around the house. So I just left my hair like this and let it air dry. So now that it's completely dry and a little bit frizzy, I'm just like, I don't even know <laughs> what I want to do. I really don't. So I'm just separating the curls a little bit more because I do want some volume in my hair and I just continue to do that throughout the rest of my hair. But side note, y'all, this color that my hair has turned, I love it. It's just in time for fall because fall is right around the corner and I just love this color it's giving me. I don't think I'm going to dye my hair magenta anymore because I like this. But I'm going to go ahead and just pick out my hair because I do want some more volume. I want my hair to be bigger. So I'm just picking at the roots, making sure that it doesn't go through my actual hair, the curls. So I decided to do a side puff, a high side puff. I haven't done one of those in a really long time. So I'm just taking my extra stretchy headband. Um, I always get questions about where I get it from. I get them from Walmart. They're in a pack, two for 88 cents. And I think the name brand is Everyday Headwear, something like that. And I just wrap it around twice and just move it to the side. I should have moved it to the side a little bit more, but I was looking lopsided. So <laughs> it's like a side middle puff, if that makes sense. But I'm just taking my flat twist and just getting a bobby pin and putting that back in place. And then my hair is actually going to cover that. So you're not going to see the bobby pin. And I'm just taking my pick and just fluffing out the roots a little bit more because I want my hair to be bigger. But that's basically it for that side puff. I think it's really cute. Um, I just should have slid it over a little bit more to the side, but I do have three other styles to show you. And this next style is just really simple. Um, it's two high puffs. And I like the fact that I have the flat twist in the front because it gives it a more pizzazz, I guess. It gives it a more pizzazzy look. Is pizzazzy even a word? Okay, it's going to be my word. So um, <laughs> I like how that looks. and this next style is really just self-explanatory i'm just wearing it out all frizzy and all i mean you know sometimes you just gotta rock with the frizz the frizz is your friend sometimes when you have a perm rod fail so i'm just rocking the frizz and I like how this looks. It's not all the way picked out, but I like how that looks. And the last look is just a regular high puff, a high puff in the middle, not a lopsided high puff. And basically just the same way I did the side puff, except for it's in the middle. But that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope this video helped with different hairstyles that you can do for a fail perm rod set. Um, let me know what you think about the hairstyles down below. Let me know what hairstyles you do whenever you have a perm rod fail. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you check out some more of my videos. And I will see you all on the next video.